Hey, I'm Tom from the Homecraft Chronicles. Today on HEMM, I'm gonna show you how to install this stove, but more importantly, how to get it wired up. So when you have an electric stove or range, you're gonna have two options. You're either gonna have a three-prong cord with three leads or a four-prong cord with four leads. And it depends on the, electric, the electrical circuit in your house and the plug that you have for your stove. Your stove's gonna be in a dedicated circuit and you just have to check and make sure that you have the right cord for the plug for your stove. As you can see, there's a plug with three cords, uh, three prongs and a plug with four prongs. So you just have to make sure you have the right cord for that. This, the stove I'm gonna install here, I have to put on a three prong and what it is, on the three prong, there's gonna be a neutral and two hot wires, a black and a red. Now, if your cord is color-coded, just hook them up according to the colors. If it's not, it doesn't really matter. The middle one is gonna be, the middle one is gonna be the neutral and the outside are gonna be your hots. So just hook them to each of the black and red terminals. It doesn't really matter which one is which. Okay, so I had the black wire and the red wire, which are the hot wires. I have the white wire, which is neutral, and underneath here, I have the green grounding screw, and there's also what's called a grounding strap that attaches to the neutral. That's very important if you're only doing a three-wire cord because those two things need to be connected because otherwise your, your stove isn't gonna be grounded and that could be very dangerous. Like I said, the neutral in the middle, the hots on either side, it doesn't matter if it's not color coded, and then tighten them up. And your stove is gonna have a cover to protect the electrical connections. And you just have to plug the cord in. So one last thing, you just wanna level up your stove, make sure it's gonna operate right, and you're good to go. Now let me show you how to install that four prong plug. It says four prongs, two hots, a neutral, and a ground. The setup in the back of the stove is virtually identical. As you can see, there's the same black wire, red wire, white neutral wire, and green ground plug that has the grounding strap attached to the neutral wire. It's gonna be pretty simple because everything's color coded. You just hook it up the way the colors go. I start out with the ground, green to green. Black on the black, white on the white, red on the red. And then once I have everything tightened up, I'm just gonna reinstall the rear cover. So let's get this stove back in place. But before I do, I just want to remind you, if you have any questions about this, a lot of stoves, they have the wiring schematic right on the back of the, of the stove. So if you have any questions, just refer to your stove. So let's get this back in place. So I have two stoves installed and it really couldn't be easier. Whether it's a three prong wire or a four prong wire, just remember, just match the colors up if the wires are color coded or if they're not color coded. Two things you have to remember, one, you identify the neutral, which is probably gonna be the middle wire on your plug, hook that up to the white wire, and the other two wires don't really matter. And if you don't have a ground wire, just make certain that there is that grounding strap that connects the ground to the neutral, and you'll be good to go. But you wanna work safely, turn the power off, but if you do have the slightest hesitation, get this project done by a licensed and insured electrician to make sure it's done properly. If you like this kind of project, make sure you subscribe to HDMM. That way, each and every week, there'll be another tip or project that can help you in and around your home and garden. And then come see me at the Home Craft Chronicles for more tips, DIY, home improvement, home repair, and other stuff that can help you in and around your home. That's it for me. I'm Tom from the Home Craft Chronicles. Until I see you right here next time on HMM. Take care.